What's up guys? We are back with another Marvel Legends review, digging back into that Abomination wave, the game reverse wave, with one of my most anticipated figures, and honestly this is one that I kind of forgot that I needed, and then we got ourselves a leader. So we've got all those hulks, it's only fitting that we have a leader figure, and I've really wanted this guy for a long time because it's a classic villain. How could you not have a leader in your collection? And here we are. So we've got this guy, of course, in our standard packaging for the Marvel Legends line figure in the window. You've got some really devious looking artwork of him on the side with a slightly larger shot on the back, a little bit of a write-up as usual, and then our lineup and the Abomination build a figure for the wave. So let's do it. Let's pull him out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our leader, Samuel Stearns. So this is a figure that I've really been looking forward to just because, you know, kind of had Hulk fever for so long with all of these Hulks that we've gotten. And this is the villain to get. You know, as far as I'm concerned, this is the villain to get. I know, you know, Abomination is a huge villain to get for the Hulk, but to get a new leader is a huge thing for me just because it's something I don't have. I'm not particularly fond of that old Toy Biz figure by any means. And uh, yeah, I think we've got... Just a pretty solid figure. This is a somewhat classic version. It's not exactly, you know, he's gone through a number of different iterations over the years, but the orange suit with the black stripes is uh, it's kind of a, a classic leader look. So I'm pretty happy with it. And then of course, it's an orange figure. It's against an orange background. So that's gonna be good too. So let's see what this guy can do. He is on the Mr. Fantastic body. So if you're familiar with that figure, then you know what's going on here. So let me just undo his hands back there and We've got a head that is humongous and can look up really far. If this guy was flying, he would be perfect for flight poses. Uh, he can look really far up. He can look really far down, too. You don't have too much attitude or bobble, but you've got a little bit. And then you've got full rotation, of course. Arms go out at the shoulders. You do have to you know, watch out because being that Mr. Fantastic body, the arms do pop out because that's how this body is engineered. They do rotate at the shoulder. You've got your bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, of course. So pretty good range. Then you've got hinges and rotation at that wrist. You've got an ab crunch, so he goes forward about that far, and he goes backwards a little bit as well. Of course, you got your waist twist, and then you've got legs that go out about yay far. They kick forward. They kick backwards only slightly. You've got your thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then you've got rocker, and you've got hinges down at those ankles. So, you know, he moves pretty well. He doesn't necessarily need to be the most agile character on your shelf because you know, it's a scrawny bodied leader, so it's not too big of a deal. I think he looks really good. Sizing, as far as this body goes, is really nicely done. And he moves pretty par for the course. I don't have any, any issues with his range of motion, and he honestly has a lot better range of motion at the head than I had expected. You can move that thing just about all over. And in that same vein, you know, the fact that he doesn't move as dynamically as maybe, you know, a figure with butterfly joints or anything like that, it doesn't matter because it's the leader. So he just needs to look good as far as I'm concerned. He does move well, but he just needs to have the look. And I think they've really got it. Uh, this is, again, kind of a classic look for leader. So I'm pretty happy with the ideas going on here with the yellow and then the orange jumpsuit with the black accents. I do like this harness piece. You could take it off if you want to remove it, uh, put it on another figure, you know, pop the arms off, pop the head off, and it's going to slide right off. Thankfully, you don't have to do anything to get the arms out on this figure because of how he's built. So it's kind of a, another one of those what you see is what you get comic figures in this wave. Well, they all are, uh, really, because no comic figure in this wave comes with any accessories, which is not a huge deal for this particular character. You know, maybe throw a gun in his hand because it's not too out of the, that's not too out there to give leader a pistol or something like that. Uh, he does have a hand for it. You might have to, you know, pry this finger out a little more, but he does have a hand for it. But he looks really good. I like the body. I like the proportions. He is, you know, on a slightly smaller body, you know, not scrawny, scrawny but it's a it's a pretty small body paint is really solid for the most part i've only got one little blemish i've got a little nick on the uh the shin down here because the legs are yellow but they're orange painted over top of it and then the rest of the body is is the orange and then you've got the black accents but the rest of it is is really well done i don't have any issues with paint uh, as far as splotchiness or fuzzy lines or any of that stuff it's pretty crisp and clean and it's just a nice classic-ish look for this character but you know, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't all about this head because, I mean, it's like 50% of the figure. And I really think they nailed it on the head. I think this is, I mean, it's obviously, this is the key defining aspect of this figure outside of the fact that he's wearing a bright 
orange and yellow jumpsuit because we don't have a lot of figures that have this color scheme, but to have a humongous like eggplant green head on the top of his shoulders uh, is really well done. I'm pretty happy with just about everything here. This is an instance where I don't think I have any gripes because I am fine with this particular version of the head. You know, you've got the ones that's kind of like the two uh, bulbs outside. You've got the ones that's more rectangular. So there's different iterations, different versions of the leader and how he looks. But I like this one. It's kind of like a mega mind looking thing. The hair is sculpted really nicely. There is a lot of line work in there. And of course, it kind of contrasts with that kind of bright but slightly darker green. It works really well. The facial hair is nicely done. The veins that kind of run the course of the big forehead, the five head, uh, work really well. It kind of accentuates the fact that he does have uh, some serious thinking power underneath that skull. And then the expression, the furrowed brow, everything's really crisp and clean and straightforward and just nicely done. There is nothing I would change about this head sculpt. I think it is the defining characteristic of this figure and a high point for him as well. So yeah, there's really not a whole lot for me to say more about this figure. If you like the leader, you should be buying this figure. Really, that's all it comes down to. I think Hasbro has done a really solid job here. Is he flashy or the greatest thing ever? Definitely not, but it's a solid figure. And that's just what it is, a solid figure. That's why I got it, and I'm happy to report that it has met all of my expectations. The only real negative, and it's not even a negative, truly, is that he could have maybe come with an extra hand or a pistol or something, just to, you know, kind of include a little extra. But at the end of the day, this figure doesn't actually need any accessories either. He looks the part, he moves well, that head sculpt is, I can't stress it enough, it is on point, colors are great, sculpt is fantastic, the overall design is, is there. So yeah, if you're a big fan of this kind of stuff, if you want a new Hulk villain for your shelf, or if you just have been wanting a new leader figure, this is the one to jump on. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So that'll do it for this look at the Marvel Legends The Leader, Samuel Stern's figure. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.